You know, when I first climbed this mountain, above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. What are you? I told you. I'm the old synth on the mountain. <laughs> I know the plastic skin and tubes out the back can be unsettling. But I want to ask you to look past that. Tell me why you're here and I'll try to help you. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? She's human, and she has a family waiting for her. But imagine what it means if you're wrong. If Kasumi is a synth, then she doesn't have a family. She never had one. Think about how she must feel. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. We ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then? Just a single day, and then waking up alone? We so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth, don't we? Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm glad to hear it. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase, and I'm sure you're eager to talk to Kasumi. She's usually working down below. Is there anything else you need from me? So everyone here in Acadia is a synth? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mind wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. You are from the Commonwealth, like Kasumi, yes? I'm sure you've had your own experiences with my kind. I've been impressed with the sense I've come across. That's good to hear. I hope your opinion of us only continues to get better. Now, was there anything else?
I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. So, you're a Sith? I am. I hope that's not a problem for you. Dima has worked hard to create a place for us where we can be safe from those who don't accept us. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. Seems like he's lucky to have you helping. Thank you. That's very kind. Sorry. Never mind. Okay. Hard enough time keeping up with repairs before all this nonsense of the and lunatics. They're nothing you need to be. Concerned about you, Dima. You can't solve all the world's problems. Certainly not all at once. Dearest of Faraday, relax. All will be fine. So you're that new fellow from the Commonwealth. It's so wonderful to meet someone from back home. I'm afraid Kasumi doesn't seem to want to discuss it, but how are things there? Getting better every day, I think. Oh, that's so good to hear. I would like to see it again someday, once things settle down here. Acadia is all well and good, I suppose, but honestly? It does get a bit boring. You're safe here. That's what really matters. Mm, I suppose. One could do with a little excitement now and then, though. Don't you think? I'm sure I'll see you around. Do take care. Circuitry is completely fried. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I I'm right in the middle of something. I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You... you're a what? You came all this way... 
For me? Look, my mom and dad... Uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. Kasumi, listen to me. You're not a synth. Believe me, I've thought about that. How you can never really know. But it just answers so many questions. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> Kasumi, I think you're just confused. Everyone has doubts about who they are sometimes. It's part of life. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. If something's going on, then I can help. Just tell me what's happening. I don't know how you could. Wait. Wait, of course you can help. You find things, track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. All right, I'm listening. Okay, where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide and eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. This will be easier if I just talk to Dima. Convince him that he needs to be honest with us. All right. Good luck. Let me know what you find out. You're new here too, huh? I mean, I haven't been here that long myself. Honestly, I'd be dead right now. Acadia may not look like much from the outside, but it's all some of us have got. It's New guy, right? Look! Hey, Dima. Feel free to say whatever is on your mind. Kasumi says she's seen parts of your memories. Death projections. For Far Harbor and the center of the island. That's... unfortunate. She should be focusing on herself. Her new life. She shouldn't have to bear the burden of the outside world. 
please. This is a matter best left to me and my advisors. We aren't planning to destroy the island. Those projections were merely to help us realize the cost of inaction. If this thing involves the whole island, then you need help. I can be your problem solver if you let me in. I suppose there's something to be said about refusing help, even when it's offered and you're in need. There's a conflict that's been brewing on this island, shortly after we built Acadia. Between Far Harbor and the Children of Atom. Simply put, they want to kill each other, and each side wants us to help them. We've tried to stay neutral, but Far Harbor was going to be wiped out by the fog, so that's when we built the condensers for them. And I was friends with the previous leader of the Children of Atom, Confessor Martin. I even gave them their headquarters, the submarine base they named the Nucleus. Which was a mistake, because Martin is gone and the new Confessor teched him. He's been threatening us, to force us to choose a side. I left behind something very important in that submarine base I gave them. Dima's earliest memories are stored in the military computer banks in that base. The pre-war security systems and Confessor Martin's goodwill were supposed to keep them safe. But now Tectus is in charge, and he's after Dima's memories. We don't even know what's in them. But we do know that I spent nearly a century on this island alone. Whatever's in there is too dangerous to allow Tectus to get his hands on them. So what can I do to help? If you're willing to retrieve what I've lost, and bring my memories back to me, then we'd all be one step closer to solving this conflict without bloodshed. You'll have to get through the Children of Adam's base. You're new on the island, so you might be able to pose as a recruit. Then, once you get to the memory banks, you'll have to use a special program Dima and I have been working on to break through the security systems. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. So how does this program work? There will be a fairly ordinary looking terminal with some attachments. The program will give you access to the terminal. Once you attempt to obtain a memory, your perspective might shift a little. Just relax then. The program will explain things to you as you need them. I'll get your memories, Dima. If we're lucky, the pre-war defenses have kept the Children of Atom at bay, but that means you'll have to get past them yourself. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. Robco Seals and Service seems the perfect innocuous place for a military installation. Turns out, Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the Children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're gonna find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the Children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course.
I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure things out from there. Good luck.